What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Shook, and today I'm gonna be talking some NBA talks right now. And to, as the season's about to end, people are thinking who's gonna win the finals this year. Right now, the Brooklyn Nets, they got Kyrie Irving, James Harden, Kevin Durant, LaMarcus Aldridge, DeAndre Jordan, Blake Griffin, Spencer Dilley. They have so many amazing players on their team. And like, we, I don't think in recent memory, we've seen a team so stacked like this before. And the reason I made this video is because I wanna talk about what I personally think if Kevin Durant doesn't win this year. Now, previously Kevin Durant was on Golden State. He did join a set, a team, before he joined them, that same Golden State Warriors team was a 73 and nine team that had uh, kicked Kevin Durant out and Russell Westbrook back in the day when they were in OKC and while they were down 3-1 and such and Kevin Durant joined that team and we know how amazing Golden State are especially during that time they had Seth Curry, Klay Thompson, Draymond Green they had a defensive player of the year in uh, Andre Gudala they also eventually uh, two seasons later I believe uh, picked up DeMarcus Cousins I believe he got injured though and they, it's funny because he ended that year, they ended up not winning. They lost to, you know, hometown team. You feel me? They, 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 lost to, they lost to the Raptors, you know? But that's another video for another time. But we saw how great Kevin Durant could be uh, on the Golden State Warriors. He won two time, He won two championships, two finals MVP. Um, I'm giving credit where it's due. He played amazing during those se seasons. He also even hit like a an iconic shot on LeBron James. Like, he was doing his thing. But now, he's on Brooklyn, and he's with even, I would argue, I mean, I'm pretty sure most people would argue too, an even more stacked team than Golden State. Um, he has, his team basically looks like an entire, like, all-star, like, lineup, you know? It looks like some all-star team stuff, you know? All these players are great and amazing in Brooklyn and such, and, I want to say that if Kevin Durant doesn't win this year, I don't think I don't think he's going to be comparable to LeBron and can't be brought up in the top five conversation. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is because, yes, while LeBron did have some um, stacked teams before, I personally won't, don't believe that they were to the level of Ke the way Kevin Durant took it. And even when LeBron did have these stacked teams, like when he had like two other all-stars on his team, he would he would win, like, you know? Like it was expected he would win. And when he lost, it was bad. Like it was bad. People were coming at his neck. So I wanna see the same energy if Kevin Durant doesn't win this year. Because when LeBron James doesn't win with uh, like a fairly good, decent team, like, no, no not even fairly, That that's just, that's not even acceptable. An amazing team. If Kevin, if LeBron James wins with loses with an amazing team, he gets the utmost hate for it, and he's bashed his legacy. Like you see, guys see it every single year. At the beginning of the season, they're always talking about LeBron's legacy, and then based on the previous finals, because you know this dude's been in the last like finals for the last decade, you know. They, they start making their judgment about him and compare him to Jordan. But what I'm saying right now is that if Kevin Durant doesn't win this year, he can't be in the top five conversation. He can't, he can't, in my opinion, be compared to LeBron James. And LeBron James will finish his career with a better career than Kevin Durant. The reason I'm saying this is just because given, if you're a top five player in the NBA, a top five player, you should, be expected to win with the team Kevin Durant has. And now, and I feel like the pressure is coming on closer towards the end of the season. But if, think about any top five player, in your opinion, in, of NBA history, if they can win with the Brooklyn Nets that they have this year with their roster, then I don't know. Personally, I just can't put them in the top five because they just had such an amazing team and Especially the Western Conference is way more stacked than the Eastern Conference. There's good players on both sides, but in the West, like if you lose, like if you're if you're just like if you go on a bad losing streak, like five to ten games, like 
you could not make the playoffs. Like, it's that tight in the Western Conference. Like, games matter and such. And especially in the East and such, they have more, they get more of a break because there's not too many competitive, competitive teams. There's still Philadelphia and Milwaukee and such. And, you know, even my Raptors, you know, they're still in there, they're still in there. But, um, what I'm saying is that it's not as competitive as the West and they can afford to lose a couple games. Like Kevin Durant has been out numerous games. Kyrie Irving has been out numerous games. I guess what Brooklyn really has to do is try to work together with the team chemistry and such. Cause this is a new team. A lot of players haven't played with each other yet and like figure out how they can all incorporate their games together. Cause all of these all of these players on the team, a lot of them are previous all-star or former all or current all-stars, I mean, and, and like players on the team that are, could be MVP this year, like Kevin Durant and James Harden, like they're, they're, they're playing nice this year. They're playing nice. But if Kevin Durant does not win this year, and by the way, I right now have Brooklyn as the favorites to win especially with the Lakers being down with that uh, LeBron and Anthony Davis. If Kevin Durant doesn't win this year, I don't want to hear anything about him being compared to LeBron James. I don't want to hear anything compared to him being in the top five, top 10, because a top five, top 10 player would win with that team. I'm just straight up, I'm being honest. And to make matters worse, Kevin Durant, he's only one with teams that were like, powerhouses in the NBA you know Golden State the, the four-year run they had like they were unstoppable like literally I remember some some years and such they were literally just almost like 4-1 and 4-0 and every single playoff team they were literally like the cap they swept the cap they swept LeBron and such you know like I don't think that it, if he doesn't win with this team especially for the fact that he's only won with Golden State, I do think it will hurt his like career and legacy. And I do think he can be considered as a top five player in the NBA. And I personally don't think he can be compared to LeBron James if he loses. That's if he loses. If he wins, he still, I'm gonna give credit where it's due. He still wins, he still wins. I, I think he would win finals MVP most likely. Him or James Harden, in my, nah, ah, that's a, I think it's tough. There's so many great players on the team. Like I can't just say one in particular individual win finals MVP, but if Kevin Durant comes back healthy and such and does his thing that we all know him to do, then, you know, I have him, you could very well see him as the finals MVP, but if he doesn't win, man, I want, I want everybody who's watching this to come at the same energy you guys came at LeBron with when he lost, if Kevin Durant loses, that's all I'm gonna say. Right now they're the favorites, they should, they should win, especially with the situation going on and the injuries happening and such, they should win. If Brooklyn Nets win, I'm gonna give KD his credit, credit is where it do, you know? But if they don't win, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. But anyways, that's my take about this whole situation with Kevin Durant being on the Brooklyn Nets and if he's going and well, what's going to happen if he wins or not. If you guys have your opinions, leave it down below. I really like talking about basketball. If you think Kevin Durant's better than LeBron, you think Kevin Durant is a top five player regardless if he loses, let me know, let me know down below. I, I like to hear it and such. If you guys have any suggestions for the next video, leave it down below. And other than that, I'm going uh, to catch you guys in the next one.